Coach Saunders, after a couple of days to collect your thoughts on this past weekend, getting swept by Henderson State, what do you think your team could have done better for a better outcome? I think we've talked about it all week. Um, it just seemed like every time we had a chance to make a big play uh, or a big hit, it just seemed like we couldn't get it done. And I think that was the, the – I think the theme for the week, you know, try to put as much pressure on them, try to get as many, I think, live reps as we could, try to make a play whenever we had the, the opportunity to. Um, we're, we're close, you know, and it's one of those things that's almost even more frustrating being like that where you know you're close, but at the same time, you know, you've got to make some, you've got to make some big changes and be able to make some plays during crunch time and get some big hits that, uh, that we're not getting right now. So with that on your mind, going into practice this week, what have you been emphasizing to the team heading into another tough series against Wachita? Yeah, there's no off weeks, you know, and I think that's going to be the big part of the, the, you know, the theme for the rest of the year is, you know, each team, each group that comes in, man, it's going to be tough, you know, and, and we've got to match the challenge. We've got to get better. It's not that we're waiting on someone to give us an opportunity. We've got to, got to go meet the challenge and, and get tougher with what we do. We've got to make better plays, better pitches, We've just got to start playing better baseball, I think, is, is uh, you know very much the theme at practice every day. All right, this weekend is obviously at home against Wachita Baptist. We have a 3-1 and one record at home. What does that have to do with the team this weekend? Yeah, I, I think that's you know, a testament to kind of who we are here. Uh, the elements kind of play to our favor since we're here every day. Uh, it'll be no different this weekend. It's going to blow dead in one day, and it's going to turn around and blow out. It's going to be really cold on Friday, and then obviously warm up on Saturday. So... Uh, I think the boys enjoy playing here. Obviously, friends and family get a chance to be here and uh, support them. And so, obviously, they want to play there and play good for them. Um, and hopefully that continues. Hopefully that theme has always pr uh, pretty much been the case for us uh, since I've been here. Uh, seems like we've always played really good at home, so we're hoping for another good weekend from the boys. So we play Friday at uh, um, 2 o'clock. We play a single nine-inning game. Um, and then the doubleheader is on Saturday at, uh, at noon. And, uh, yeah, come on out, support, and, and watch the Islanders. All right, B.A., you're a senior leader on this team. How do you plan to use that leadership going into the rest of the season? Uh, you know, I kind of plan on just kind of being a, a role model for some guys, you know, about not only how to act on the field but also off the field, you know, how to carry yourself during the season, you know, making smart choices, uh, doing the right thing. Um, that's kind of my model of leadership is just, you know, grabbing a guy if he's struggling, kind of talking him through it, and then, you know, being a positive reinforcement for him instead of kind of breaking him down further and further because, you know, he knows he's struggling, but, you know, there's no sense in kind of beating on him more since that really didn't help anybody. So, Are there any young guys, especially JUCO transfers, that you've kind of taken under your wing this season? Uh, I, I try to talk to Kellen Henderson quite a bit, just kind of about the mentality of pitching. Um, you know, not caring about the result after the ball leaves your hand. Um, he's one of the guys I've kind of talked to. Um, try to work with Philip Sanders a little bit and, you know, how to act and carry himself and, you know, kind of believe in yourself that you are the best pitcher you're walking whenever you're on the mound. Even if that's not the case, but, you know, believing in it. All right, Caleb, you've already been named Bulldog of the Week once against Adams State and you had an amazing offensive weekend at Henderson State. What do you plan to do and keep doing to keep getting these results? Um, you know, it's all about just putting in the work throughout the week and honestly just forgetting about the previous weekend, you know, like no matter how good or how bad you do, once uh, Sunday rolls around, the weekend's over, the games are over, and it's all about doing it all over again and just repeating the same process each and every day, coming to the field, working on stuff you need to work on and just getting consistent results from it. That way, when the next weekend rolls around, you're ready to go. Yeah, what do you like about Swassie Baseball? Um, I kind of just love how gritty we are out here, you know. We come out here every day, it's blowing 25 miles an hour in any direction on any given day, and it's usually pretty cold out here, and we just come out and grind every single day, no matter the weather, and we're all a family out here, you know. When somebody makes an error, somebody strikes out, nobody's putting each other down, everybody's picking each other up, you know, just making sure they're ready for the next ground ball, that next at bat, because you're going to come up in some point in the game at a big situation and have to make a play or have to get a hit. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching Watch Dogs. Go, Go Dogs! Dogs.